March 2017, final exam, for 44 to 70. Oh, and question 5 is for MFRS 137, provisions, contingent liabilities, and contingent assets. So let us let us start now. Okay, question 5A, part A. Well, Delta operates in the manufacturing industry and its activities have caused contamination. So the activities have caused contamination to the land around the area. So the reporting entity is Delta. You have to define legal obligation. So this has nothing to do so much with the question. It is just a um, requirement for you to do, give the definition of legal obligation. And if you can still recall the definition for legal obligation, right? Uh, it has something to do with present obligation and we have legal obligation and legal obligation as I have uh, informed you and if you can still recall it arises from contract it arises from legislation and other operation other operation of law so you should write that it is legal obligation is derived that derives from a contract a legislation operation of law so when we say contract it can either be a, an explicit or implicit one so that's for two two marks next okay it's requirement b on the same uh, issue of delta Explain briefly whether or not Delta would be required to recognize a provision. So based on the statement given there, you are asked whether should a provision be recognized because in our case here, there is no legal requirement. If there is a no legal requirement, but Delta has already caused some contamination to the land. Okay, the issue is, should you recognize a provision? So, um, before you recognize a, a, a provision, you need to see whether or not the three criteria is being met, if you can still recall. So, which is whether there is a present obligation as a result of past event. So, present obligation as a result of past event. And that past event should be an you should have an obligating event and the present obligation is where you talk about having legal obligation or constructive obligation that was number one and then number two you need to know that there should be an outflow that is probable and number three is that the estimate are being reliably measured so here we have to look at the first one is there any obligating event? So here, if you look, the past event, which is the contamination caused by Delta, it does not give rise to present obligation, either legal or constructive obligation. Why? You are informed in the question that there is no legal requirement. So if there is no legal, legal requirement, it means that there is no legal obligation. So there is also no information saying that there is uh, an indicator that there is a constructive obligation. No such thing. So therefore, there is no legal obligation. When there is no legal obligation, there is no legal requirement and there is no obligating event actually. So the past event that you have there is not a past event that leads to a present obligation. There is a non-obligating event. So, no legal requirement to clean up the contaminated land. Therefore, uh, no provision should be recognized. You just need to answer that the company does not need to recognize a provision. So, that is for two marks. Right? That's for two marks. Right. Next one. Next one is a question that is based on 
a situation a situation which is you have three situation but before that you are asked to discuss briefly in part c here part a c if there is any present obligation that arose from the past requirements still on the same case of delta that caused the contamination of the land but now the question is there is no legal requirement as we uh, were aware just now but what happened if the company has a normal practice to clean up any contamination cost if the company has a normal practice to clean up the contamination cost this means that the company has a constructive obligation so there is a present obligation by way of constructive obligation and that practice of cleaning up the contamination cost has created a valid expectation that this company will be accepting the responsibilities so if that is uh, the case um, therefore there is a present obligation by way of constructive obligation you asked to discuss whether there is a present obligation. Don't go far than that. Just talk about whether there is a present obligation and what are the, uh, the supporting evidence. Although there is no, there is no legal obligation. So there is some grammatical, grammatical mistake there. Uh, no legal requirement based on the information given here. No legal requirement. There is a constructive obligation which is based on this brown ink here. There is a constructive obligation where when the company has that normal practice yeah, to clean up the contamination cost. And that is showing that Delta has a constructive obligation to discharge its responsibility because of the normal practice to clean up the contamination cost. So therefore, there is a present obligation via constructive obligation. So you just need to talk about there is a present obligation by way of constructive obligation and prove why you said so. Next. Question 5B. So question 5B is relating to three different situations that is faced by this company called Ping Berhad which is a company doing offshore business activities. Offshore business activities. And these are the events, which are one, two, three, that you will see later, that are pertinent to the preparation of financial statement of the company that ends 30th of June, 2016. So for each of that situation, you are asked to elaborate the uh, appropriate accounting treatment in line with MFRS 137 in accordance with it and to prepare, prepare relevant journal entries where applicable, yeah? not for all, where applicable, of course, for those that are recognized as asset or liabilities to, rec to, to record the above transaction. So let's look at the first situation and do each of the requirement A and B for each situation. Okay, let's look at the first one. On 15 of February, meaning that before the year end, a few months before the year end, 15 of February, the company was confronted with a legal suit. So there was a legal claim asking for 100,000 from one of the staff due to an accident that caused him a major injury. So that staff met with an accident and now he's claiming from the company for a compensation for a damage claim of uh, 100,000. So as at the year end, when you close the account, the case is still ongoing, meaning that it's still um, being heard in the court. And the next hearing of the case will take place in July, so meaning that it's still ongoing. So even until next year, the hearing is not, not sure whether it will uh, complete or not, right? So the company legal advisor indicated that there is an 80% probability that the staff will win the case. So uh, when we look at this part, this shows that there is a present obligation, legal obligation, because I use the purple ink to show you that one is uh, related to um, legal obligation. And the red in there is 
showing that there is an obligating past event. And uh, that information here, if you look, there is 80% probability that the staff will win the case, meaning that we are going to lose the case. So 80% chance that they will win the case. So in our case, we have more than 80% chances of losing the case because they will win the case with a maximum cl uh, uh, claim of 80,000. So um, that was according to your legal advisor. So that 80,000 is considered as reliable estimate of the amount of obligation. So number one is being fulfilled. Number two is being fulfilled. Number three is being fulfilled. So now you need to understand that a provision could be should be recognized. So you, skip, you can start off by making conclusions right away. The company needs to accrue a provision for legal suit, or you can also say for damage, which is shown as a current liability. Why shown as a current liability? Because as at the end of the year, it is still ongoing. And uh, there is a present obligation, give the reason, the first reason, there is a present obligation, which is legal obligation arising from past event. Uh, what are the evidence staff filed a legal suit due to past damage experienced by the staff while on duty? So that was the first point, present obligation, legal obligation with the supporting evidence. Uh, supporting evidence and then there will be a probable outflow of economic benefits so it is 80 percent there where that was showing that you are going to lose the case which is actually more than 50 percent chance of being held liable then uh, the amount can be measured reliably because that was what being advised or determined by the company's legal advisor so all three criteria are being met, all three. Therefore, you recognize a provision in the financial statement. How much? A provision of 80,000. That was the elaboration of the accounting treatment. Next one is the journal entry. So this is a provision, so debit legal suit costs or maybe you can put debit compensation costs you can also put debit damage costs those are all acceptable but here i'm using what i got from the question legal suit credit provision for legal suit and this should be shown as a current liability on in the soft fee so eighty thousand because it is due in less than a year right so eighty thousand where do i get eighty thousand here Next, that's for two marks, and the first part is for three marks. Yeah, sorry, this one is for four marks. Next, second, we move on to part uh, 5B, second situation. As at 1st of March 2016, the company decided, it's the company that decided to file a legal suit against one of its supplier. So that shows that um, not that we are being uh, held for a lawsuit, but now we are filing for a lawsuit against our supplier. And that shows that uh, we, why? Because for the unethically, use our company's name being ping berhad's name to promote their product so those are the situation that happened and the past event there is that the name was used unethically and because of that we decided that we are going to file a lawsuit so when we file a lawsuit we are asking for them to pay us now so there is a possible asset that might come uh, in the future so the amount that we claim was two hundred thousand so the amount that we claim so meaning that this is actually inflow of economic benefits we are not talking about outflow now we are talking about inflow of economic benefits and the company lawyer is of the opinion that it is highly probable that the company will win the case highly probable means we are saying that the inflow of economic benefits 
inflow of economic benefit is probable probable means more than 50 percent chance this is about asset because we are talking about possible possible asset so therefore there is a possible asset arising from past event why the legal suit filed against one of its supplier for the unethical use of Bing Berhad's name. But that possible asset is not within the control of the entity, not synergy. This one is actually Bing Berhad. Why? Because the confirmation of the result of the case was yet unknown until the year end. Even though your lawyer said it's highly probable that you will win the case, meaning that there is a possible asset, but yet the verdict or the outcome is not within your control. It will be subject to the confirmation of the uh, result yeah, that was uh, decided by the judge. In this case, the company's lawyer is in the opinion that there is a high probability to win the case. When there is a high probability to win the case and we are asking for our inflow of economic benefits, we are the one that is asking for claim. That indicates that the inflow of economic benefits is probable. Probable here, we are talking about asset probable is more than 50%, but normally less than 95%. Anything more than 50%, Less than 95%, we are saying the inflow of economic benefits is probable. We cannot recognize that as an asset, but we need to disclose that as a contingent asset. So you cannot recognize this event as an asset. No, because this is not an asset, it's just a possible asset. What you should do is you need to disclose this as contingent asset under the notes to the financial statement of whom of ping berhad so uh, for the year ended 30th june 2016. so the, that was the first part on the elaboration of accounting treatment the second part asks you to do journal entries although there is no journal entries you need to state the fact that there is no journal entries don't simply put a dash or put nil or put zero that will not be awarded with marks then you also need to mention that the company is required to make a disclosure because there is no general entry they are required to make a disclosure in the notes to the financial statement a disclosure of what a disclosure on contingent assets of estimate of two hundred thousand. right that was the Second one, yeah. Now we look at the the third one. This is supposed to be number B three. Third situation B three. Uh, this is for situation three. During an offshore business activities in 2016, one of Ping Berhad's ship suffered a leakage. So there was this ship belonged to uh, Ping Berhad that caused leakage and that leakage has caused an oil pollution and that oil pollution is affecting the, the water or the sea. Although the company did not receive any demand from Department of Environment to clean up the pollution it has caused, the company has declared that it will be responsible. So this is the past event, the one in ink, red ink there. And the company declared that it will be responsible. That shows that there is a constructive obligation, meaning that there is a present obligation. There is already a present obligation here, number one. Constructive obligation. Why? Because they make a declaration, maybe a declaration in the newspaper, declaration through an interview made by the maybe a reporter, and they agree that, yeah, we declare to be responsible. And they say that we are going to be responsible to make amend to the situation. They are going to clean up the pollution that has been caused before the year end. So they 
will be doing that and therefore that outflow is probable. So number two is fulfilled. And number three, the cleanup cost also already had an estimation of 1 million. No further information saying that this is not reliable. We assume that is a reliable estimate. So this is a reliable estimate. So all three criteria is being fulfilled. So if all three criteria is being fulfilled, a provision should be recognized, right? A provision for clean up should be recognized. And um, the clean up cost that is estimated to be 1 million. 1 million is the one that you need to recognize. And therefore, the company had declared that they are going to make amend the situation before the year end. So the word, the sentence before the year end, 30th June 2016, shows that this is a liability and more specifically is going to be a current liability because it will be settled by, uh, by the company in less than a year. So let's start looking at the answer. So here, there is a constructive obligation right but if you can see it start by there is no legal obligation because there was some information about department of environment here to clean up but no information right so you say there is no legal obligation to clean up the water area however the company has a present obligation how by declaring that it will be responsible to take care of the pollution costs and declaring that will create a valid expectation to the third parties that the company is going to discharge its responsibility so that is showing that the explanation for the present obligation second one there is a probable uh, outflow of resources why probable outflow of resources because of this blue uh, statement there to make amend to the situation do you declare i will be doing that before 30th of june so the outflow of resources is probable because you say this right maybe your director said so you are going to make it uh, a man make a man before 30th of june and therefore you can also join together the third recognition criteria and the amount, this is third recognition criteria, of clean up cost can be reliably measured. Can be measured reliably at 100,000. So all the three criteria are being checked and fulfilled. And therefore, you can come with your conclusion, the advice. You should recognize, you should provide, or you should accrue is the same thing, recognize provide or accrue the provision for clean up as a current liability. So why current liability? Because it is going to be um, an outflow by 30th of June 2016. So you are going to uh, involve some uh, obligation, right? And that is a current liability. You're going to show that in your account in your financial statement for the year ended 30th june 2016 that gives you three months and the general entry will be to debit the cleanup cost or maybe you can put debit damage cost credit provision for cleanup or you can also say provision for damage how much the estimate is one million you are not asked to prepare any extract financial statement so you don't have to do so that that's it. Uh, I thank you for watching. I hope you have learned more every day. I'll see you when I will see you.